Welcome to the inaugural episode of Think Fast, The Art of Talking Smart. Hey guys, my name is Ozzy and in this series, we embark on a journey to uncover the secrets of quick thinking and its profound impact on our daily lives. Quick thinking isn't just about answering trivia questions or solving riddles, it's a skill that can transform how we communicate, make decisions, and navigate the complexities of our world. As we delve into this fascinating subject, we'll explore the intricacies of rapid cognition, the art of thinking on your feet, and the magic of articulating your thoughts with clarity and intelligence in the heat of the moment. Whether you're an aspiring conversationalist, a professional communicator, or simply curious about the mechanics of human cognition, you're in for a thought-provoking adventure. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's embark on a quest to master the art of quick thinking and talking smart. To illustrate the power of quick thinking, let's journey back to a moment in history that showcased remarkable mental agility. The year was 1962, and the world was on the brink of nuclear war during the Cuban Missile Crisis. In the midst of this perilous standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union, John F. Kennedy, the President of the United States, was faced with an unprecedented challenge. He received a letter from Nikita Khrushchev, the Premier of the Soviet Union, which contained a proposal that could have escalated the conflict further. Kennedy was known for his charisma and eloquence, but it was his ability to think fast and strategically that truly made a difference. Instead of reacting impulsively, he decided to respond with a measured approach. He sought advice from his team, explored diplomatic channels, and eventually crafted a letter that accepted the terms while simultaneously proposing a solution that could peacefully resolve the crisis. This incredible display of quick thinking averted a catastrophe and set a precedent for diplomacy under duress. As we examine this historical example, it becomes evident that quick thinking is not about being reckless, it's about being adaptive, rational, and resourceful. It's about turning crisis moments into opportunities for creative problem solving. The Cuban Missile Crisis teaches us that even in the face of immense pressure, individuals can make pivotal decisions that alter the course of history, all thanks to their ability to think fast. This is just one of many instances where quick thinking has played a crucial role in shaping the world, and it underscores the importance of honing this skill in our own lives. Now that we've examined the remarkable example of President Kennedy's quick thinking during the Cuban Missile Crisis, let's dive into how we can apply this skill in our own lives. Quick thinking is not limited to world leaders, it's a skill that anyone can cultivate and benefit from. Here are some practical steps to help you enhance your ability to think fast and talk smart. Stay informed, knowledge is your best friend when it comes to thinking quickly. Stay well informed about a wide range of topics. The more you know, the easier it is to make connections and come up with smart responses. Practice mindfulness, being present in the moment allows you to react more effectively. Practice mindfulness to train your brain to stay calm under pressure and think clearly. Embrace creativity. Quick thinking often involves thinking outside the box. Cultivate your creativity and look for unconventional solutions to problems. Master the pause. Don't be afraid to take a moment to collect your thoughts when needed. Silence is a powerful tool in communication, allowing you to formulate a thoughtful response. Learn from experience, reflect on your past experiences where quick thinking made a difference. What worked? What didn't? Use these lessons to refine your skills. Engage in debate, engaging in healthy debates and discussions can sharpen your thinking. It challenges your ideas and forces you to think quickly to defend your position. Simulate scenarios. Practice thinking quickly by simulating challenging scenarios. 
Role-playing in mock situations can help you prepare for real-life situations. As we conclude this episode, remember that quick thinking isn't about being perfect, it's about adapting and responding in the best way you can. By developing this skill, you'll find that you can navigate conversations, challenges, and decisions with greater ease and confidence. In future episodes of Think Fast, The Art of Talking Smart, we'll explore more facets of quick thinking, including the role of emotions, the impact of technology, and strategies for handling high-pressure conversations. So, stay tuned and continue your journey to master the art of quick thinking. Thank you for joining us in this exploration, and until next time, keep thinking fast and talking smart.